select the correct statement in the following. The options are if delta G system is less than zero, then process is non-spontaneous. Students, this is an incorrect statement as we all are aware that when delta G system is less than zero, that means delta G system has a negative value. In that case, the process is spontaneous. Moving to next statement, if delta S system is greater than zero, then process must be spontaneous. Students, this is again an incorrect statement as when delta S system is greater than zero, the process may be spontaneous or non-spontaneous depending upon temperature. Moving to next statement, if delta S total is greater than zero, then process must be spontaneous. Students, yes, this is a correct statement. Moving to next statement, if delta H system is greater than zero, then process must be spontaneous. Students, this process also may be spontaneous or may be non-spontaneous. So yes, this is again an incorrect statement. That means the correct statement for this question is option number 3. Moving to next question which is 87. One mole of an ideal gas undergoes a change of state from 2 atm 3 liter to 4 atm 10 liter with change in enthalpy delta H of 40 liter atm then change in internal energy delta U in liter atm is. The options are 6, 16, 74 or 18. So students for this question we need to know the relation. We have already discussed delta H is equal to delta U plus delta PV. Here we have to calculate delta U which is equal to delta H minus delta PV. Since pressure and volume both are changing so it will become delta U is equal to delta H minus P2 V2 minus P1 V1. Let's put the values. The value of delta H is 40 liter atm. The value of P2 is 4 atm and the value of V2 is 10 liter. The value of P1 is 2 atm and V1 is 3 liter. So 2 into 3. So this is 40 minus 2 into 3 is 6 which gives a value of 34. So 40 liter atm. Minus 34 liter ATM. That gives a total of 6 liter ATM. As a result, we can say the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Moving to next question, which is 88. Change in entropy when 2 mole of ideal gas is heated from 127 degree Celsius to 527 degree Celsius at 1 ATM is... We are given with the value of Cp which is 20 joules per mole per Kelvin. The options are 27.7 joules per Kelvin. Next is 14.7 joules per Kelvin. Next is 80.6 joules per Kelvin. And the last option is 40.3 joules per Kelvin. Students, for this question we need to calculate delta S. And there is a formula for that. Delta S is equal to 2.303 N. Cp log T2 upon P1. So let's put the values 2.303. The value of N is 2. Number of moles is 2 already given in the question. The value of Cp is already given which is 20 joules log T2. Class the value of T2 and T1 we have to put in Kelvin. So T2 is 527 degree Celsius which ultimately is equal to 800 Kelvin and T1 which is 127 degrees Celsius in Kelvin is equal to 400. So let's calculate 2.303. 2 into 20 is 40. This is log 2. Now 2.303 into 40. The value of log 2 is 0 0.301 which is equal to 27. 7 joules per Kelvin. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Moving to next question which is 89. Which among the following is our state functions? The options are W, H, Q, both 2 and 3. That means H and Q. Students, in this case we need to know that work done which is W and heat change which is Q both are path functions, that means path dependent functions. On the other hand, H which is enthalpy 
is a state function. So the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Moving to next question which is 90. If enthalpy change for the reaction OCl2 gaseous gives O gaseous plus 2 Cl gaseous is 420 kilojoules per mole. Then average bond energy of OCl bond in kilojoules per mole will be. The options are 420, 210, 170 or 398. Students as we all know that enthalpy of reaction is summation of bond energy of reactants minus summation of bond energy of products. As we can see in products there are only atoms so we only have to take bond energy of reactants so bond energy of OCl multiplied by 2 is equals to enthalpy of reaction. We are given with the value of enthalpy of reaction which is 420 kilojoules per mole is equals to 2 into bond energy of OCl bond. So bond energy of OCl bond is equals to 420 upon 2 kilojoules which is equals to 210 kilojoules per mole. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 2. That was my last question students. Thank you so much.